So this is my Dell computer that I replaced with a Lenovo back in May of this year. And this thing is running Vista and would only boot up in like safe mode. So I have bought some time ago a Windows 7 upgrade for this Vista Home Premium. And today's the day I'm going to begin that upgrade. I've really good about backing up my files, but I bought another one of these one terabyte drives and copied all my documents on there again just to have another copy. And we're going to bring this up in safe mode networking. It's the only way I could bring it up. One more time, and then we're going to start the loading of the Windows 7 because I'm going to erase everything and build this Vista from scratch. I'm not really sure what happened to this, but McAvee or Upload seem to have corrupted something. And it's slowly coming up. Welcome, you see Windows Vista Home Premium. And that's what it looks like in safe mode. You're very limited of what you can really do. You can get to the network. And I was able to attach that USB drive and just kind of drag and drop my files on there to have another copy, but really limited of what else you can bring up. So this is what it looks like in safe mode. Actually, don't even get any sound either. So I'm going to go, go ahead and begin loading uh, this Windows 7. Just wanted to show how this comes up. I've broken the seal on the CD. I have also have a product code that I have to enter in. And we're going to go ahead and get this spun up here. So I went to computer on here, even though it's in safe mode and clicked on the CD drive comes up with Windows 7 and install now. I'm going to do that. Got all my files backed up. Copied some temporary files, set up a starting And we'll come up with some software license terms you've got to accept and move on here. See if we can do that. Contacted my lawyer, make sure all this is legal. So this is the option that comes up. There's two different installs here. Upgrade will upgrade Windows 7 on top of Vista. But it will also keep your files and settings and programs. So well, the problem I got is whatever these programs are in settings, I'll just carry over into this. So I'm going to do the custom which is to this should take me down to just do a complete format and rebuild of Windows 7 since I've backed up everything. So let's check that. I'm going to put that on the C drive. That's the option it came up with. Okay, so it looks like it's going to... So there we go, installing Windows. So that's all the information we need, and it's copying Windows files. And this is slowly advancing, copying files. We're at 62% now. It's completed copying Windows files. Expanding window files now. It's doing its first restart.
And that looks like Windows 7 starting Windows. And we're back to installing the Windows Expanding Windows files. Okay, Expanded Windows has finished 100% installing features. And then we're installing updates. This is connected to the internet here. That completed. Here we go, we're going to restart again. Expanding the window files took the longest. It took about 10 minutes. It's like it gives me a couple of rollback options to bring up. And we're starting Windows again. Should have sound on this. Not sure it's working or not on this monitor. So updating registry. Starting services. Going back to completing installation. Screen size got smaller here all of a sudden during this installation. CD spinning up again. It's also like a little speedometer down here at the bottom first started collecting information, then it's doing installation of Windows, and it's slowly progressing over to the right here. Still in the completing installation. It's finally rebooting again from that last step there. Installation, that took a while. I guess my sound is not working on this junk fine monitor I had. Alright, setup is preparing your computer for first use. Alright, Homes Premium. Go next here. Put a username here. And it comes up, set a password for your account. You type that in. You also want a password hint. And here's the product key information that was on the CD box. Let me enter that in. Okay, it looks like it accepted the product key. And I'm going to select Use Recommended Settings. Got a date change here. Eastern Standard Time. Change this clock as well. That's off. And it's always best to grab a cell phone to get your most accurate time. So we'll move that along. 
This is a homework network. Finalizing the settings. And looks like we're coming up on Windows 7 Home Premium. Preparing desktop. Home Premium down here. Total install time has been about 47 minutes. And there's the Windows 7 screen there. Don't have a lot on here yet because I did a complete rebuild. So the only icon I've got, it looks like a Internet Explorer. Let's see if that'll come up. And it does. That is a good thing. And it's given me information about Windows Internet Explorer 8, which I'll look at later. Oh, it looks like there's a Explorer 9. And I just went to my YouTube site. Looks like I need to upgrade Adobe here. It's not recognized in the Flash. But that is how we do a Windows 7 upgrade. Wasn't uh, a lot to it. Looks like I've got Internet Explorer. I'm going to keep working on this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, Dale. I may give it to my mom for her to, to use. But uh, it looks like the entire problem was... Uh, Vista, and I got a screen similar to this now when it reboots up, and that's what we installed. We installed the Windows 7 Home Premium, and looks like it's working really well.